Today we're going to be installing and setting up a Metatorio HV hardness tester. Once you've removed the hardness tester out of the packaging, it'll basically look like this. The first thing you have to do is remove the carrying handles, which is simply unscrewing the item. Replacing the handle is in the accessory box for use in later if needed. And in there you'll find four blanking screws, which we just use to fill in the holes left by the handles. Do this on all four handles. OK, so all four handles have been removed, the blanking screws have been fitted, and the next is the process of levelling the machine. We now need to lower the anvil mount. Remove the packaging around the indenter, placing these items in the accessory box for future use, getting the anvil from the accessory box, placing the anvil in the head, getting a level, placing it on the anvil, and then by means of two forward screws and the screw at the back, level machine until the spirit level bubble is completely central. I would recommend doing the four front two first until it's level laterally and then the rear one to get it in from the back to front. Once that level has been achieved just ease down on the two support bolts ensuring that the, item, the level is still indicating that the machine is level and this makes a much stable machine that's a simple process of levelling the machine the next stage is to hang the weights to achieve this there's two screws one here and one at the back to remove the top cover. You just need to loosen these screws off lift off the top cover put this somewhere safe then you should find some sort of form of transit lock in this case it's tie wraps Cut the tie wraps so that the cantilever arm is free to move. The next stage is to ensure that the weight setting is set to the lowest so that the weight support inside the machine is raised to the highest point to facilitate ease in hanging the weights. Okay, so we've removed the transit tie wraps or string. Remove the transit packaging from these two points and the arm is free now to rotate. Lift it to about the 30 degree point of the maximum of travel. Carefully get the weights, making sure that you don't bang the weights or bend the rod that travels through the centre. And just carefully drop the weights into the machine. the hanger over the two dowels that are there and lower the weights fully into the machine until it sits on the bed. Now by adjusting the weight selector you can see that as it goes down it introduces more weights onto the rod and via the rod onto the arm Ensure that there is clearance all around the weights, that there is no obstructions that could obstruct the weights in the movement, and ensure that all the cables which are laying on the top 
are free of the arm. Once this is done, we can now replace the lid. This is a simple matter of placing it over the two dowel pegs. And tightening up the two screws which we slammed off earlier. The weights are now hung in the machine. To fit the electrical connector from the control box to the tester itself. Simply plug in the connector. Screw the two screws until the firmness of fitment is achieved on the connector. The same procedure for the connector on the control box. The control box can be placed either side, in this case we'll do it to the machine's left hand side. And that's it, that's that connector done. Then we have the mains input connector, which simply fits into the standard IEC connector on the back. And that's the electrical connections done. The next stage is to fit the indenter if the indenter is not already fitted to the machine. You will see on the indenter that there is a small red dot. This should face towards you, inserting the indenter without applying undue pressure to the indenter itself, so that the red dot is directly underneath the screw. This ensures that the diamond tip is in the correct orientation for measurement and tightening up the screw until it's firmly secured. The indenter. The next stage is powering up the machine. On the right hand side of the machine you will see a simple on off switch. Switch that to on. Switch the machine on. The panel will illuminate and it can be switched into the main menu simply by pressing the button. This is the basic menu of the screen which can be set up for various indications. Uh, various controls of the machine. We have the turret movement left and right the brightness of the illumination set that to the required light intensity and various other options. To power off the machine it's just simply switching off the switch on the right hand side of the machine checking that the display occults and then that is it, that's the basic setup of the machine.